Trump. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> yeah. So who knows? Who knows? I wouldn't know. Like, I have no idea. I haven't looked into it at all. But honestly, who cares? You know what's even more important than all that Dr. Disrespect nonsense? Check this out. You ready for this one? That's right. We got an Apple review. So this person posted on Twitter. Just found this site where a guy reviews apples and holy shia! I did not realize the apple fandom was so toxic. Hi, I'm a Honeycrisp apple. I have an orangey red skin. I'm sweet with a little bit of tartness. I'm very juicy and crisp. That makes me a great eating apple, but you can also use me for baking. You'll find me in the orchard in mid to late September. Ah, nice. A letter floats through the air toward you. Strangely, nobody else seems to notice it. The letter tucks itself into your pack. Just like a random weird letter, just like freaking, just like freaking. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, what the heck is up with that? <laughs> just like freaking floated. Uh. Okay. The under king. All right, knife guy. Centuries ago, Tiber Septum ruled the land and forged an empire with great Namidium. The secret of Namidium's power lies in its heart, carried within the Mantella. It is the heart of Tiber Septum's battle mage. It is my heart. It is my Mandela, it is my totem. It belongs to me and to none other. I have won and lost an empire. I have no desire to temper further with mortal affairs. I have in my possession the Necromancer's Amulet, one of the world's greatest artifacts. You may have it in, in exchange for the totem. My most loyal agent will await your arrival in Eternal Oracle of Mara of Ephesus at the Benevolence of Mara. The Under King. Okay. Uh, sure. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Uh, I'll deal with your ass in just a second. I want to go and sell all my tingies. All my wonderful tingies that I have. Oh yeah, like I could sprint on horseback, basically. So I go a lot faster around here. But sometimes, when you're riding so fast, you can run over somebody and they die. And then the guards will come chasing after you. <laughs> Your horse is on steroids. That's right. Check this out. You're lucky. Look at this. Chicken check. Chicken check. Ah, there you go. Moxie the chicken. It's chicken time. <laughs> yep. It's pretty freaking hilarious. You like run over somebody randomly. Like they sometimes teleport in front of your horse too. And then there you go. The guards start chasing after you. Halt! Halt! That's what you're gonna hear for the rest of your life forever. Halt! <laughs> That's a pretty cool pet. Thank you. She's my, my little babu. She's a silver laced coochin chicken. That's her breed. There you go, we're here. And Jimmy is still here, too. We still got Jimmy. Alright. 
Let's sell this crap. Do I even have a Daedric Long Sword? I don't want to sell all of it. Because I don't want to... I don't want to... Like, I only sell dupes. I want to keep... These things. Yeah, this is all I can sell. Yeah, I have this Daedric Wakazashi thing. Alright, I guess I'm selling this. 24,000 gold? It's gonna have to do, I guess. Sadly, Jimmy is not as majestic as a pet like your chicken. <laughs> I know. I had, a, I had a pet wyvern, actually, in this game. But he kept on, like, every time he shows up, like, he counts as an enemy, so I can't rest, and it got really annoying to the point that I just sent it off. I just sent the freaking pet off, and I was just like, you know what? You're gonna live in, like, some store somewhere for a while. <sighs> I ain't gonna do none of that shenanigans. It ain't happening. This is, like, what, a clothing store? I didn't even know this was a thing. Alright. What else can I sell? To make some monies. Some extra monies. I don't know, a diamond? It's not much. A ring? Whatever. Might as well. We're also trying to save up money to buy a little nut shack. In Ephesus. That is also another plan that we have in mind. That's why I'm trying to make as much monies as possible. We have quite a bit saved up. But it's not enough. No other extra things to sell. This is just pretty much it. Alright, fine. That's gonna have to do, I guess. And then, uh... We gotta meet this person. We gotta meet this, uh, this under king nerd. In Ephesus, actually. So that's where we're going anyway. Uh, we wanna go to the bank real quick in Ephesus. See how much money we can, uh, store up real quick. Because I wanna live here. How's this? It's if a young woman hands you a letter and then walks away whistling. A portly man bearing the standard of Wayrest approaches you with a letter. His somber expression never changes and he speaks not a word. He leaves as silently as he arrived. My god, I have a bunch of messages. It's like crazy. Huh? The benevolence of Mara are being persecuted. Holy crap, that's insane. They're getting freaking persecuted right now. What's up with all these letters? Okay. Wayrest. Noble life. My ears have picked up rumors that you are searching for the totem of Tiberseptum. I too have hunted for this wondrous artifact for many years. Should you find it, I would pay you a healthy ransom. Enough to buy your own ship. I will match or exceed any price that Gothirid or uh, Kirithi might offer. Never forget your real friends. King Edwir of Wayrest. And then we have this woman. Knife guy, if you are reading this, you must have gotten the totem and escaped from the dungeons of Castle Daggerfall. I am in Pithatula of Ephesus at the Woodton Residence. Bring the totem there as soon as possible. What should I do? Should I bring the totem to some freaking king boy in Wayrust? And he'll give me money for a ship? Or should I give it to this lady Bruzinia? Uh, somewhere in Ephesus? Or to, I guess, the Under King in Ephesus? I have no idea who to give this totem to. They're all asking for it. I think I have an idea. <laughs> Demon fool. <laughs> I think I have an idea. We might have to ask the 8-ball. 
We're gonna have to probably ask the eight ball about that question in just a second. Let me just go to the bank and like store my tingies. What the hell? Uh, oh, it's illegal. You can't, you can't, you can't do that. You can only loiter. Okay, what's up, dude? Dude? Deposit? Uh, wait. Wait, 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 stop. Yes, deposit the letter of credit. And then, uh, deposit like 10,000 gold. There you go. There it is, the bots, they're back. <laughs> the bots have returned. All right, we have 344,000. How much does this cost? The cheapest house. It's like f four. Yes. 400,000. 462,000. That's the cheapest one we can get. That's the cheapest nut shack we can buy in Ephesus. I mean, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. We're really close. But not close enough. All right, let's see. Uh, we got a major decision to make here. Lady Brizinia wants the, the totem. The King of Wairus wants the totem. And the Under King wants the totem. And you know what time it is. That's right. Eight ball. It's freaking eight ball time. Let's freaking go. Let's ask the eight ball what should we do. Eight ball, eight ball. Should I go and give the under king the totem? You may rely on it. Okay. Ugh. We're gonna rely on it. We're gonna do this. Where is this freakazoid? Uh... The necromancer's amulet. I don't even. I don't even care. But like, whatever. Why not? We'll do it. The apple has spoken. So we're doing it. In the Eternal Oracle of Mara. Okay. Ah. Oh, all glorious, vague eight ball. Thank you for your guidance. <laughs> the guidance. We need the guidance. Isn't like the am the the necromancer's amulet like that one necromancer's amulet that you find in the uh, in the Windhelm quest with that one butcher guy in Windhelm? He was like the weird oddities store guy, and then you find like a necromancer amulet in his house and like a little satanic ritual in his like closet secret room in Skyrim. In the game Skyrim. <sighs> yes, we're going this place. Is it the same amulet? It's probably like a little secret little reference. Little secret reference. Let's do it. Screw it. Why not? Who can even see anything? the hell? Are there naked ladies? <sighs> okay, uh, coast is clear, I guess. What's going on here? Might be some of these items definitely get reused in later games. Well, of course. Like, the Daedric artifacts get pretty much reused. We have pretty much, like, almost all of them. For the most part. We got the Skull of Corruption, Skelter's Key, uh, the beloved Herseed's Ring, of course. The Mask of Clavicus Vile. Uh, we got other stuff, too. We got the... The, the Wabberjack! Of course, right there. Uh, the Mesa Molag Ball. Volundrum. Got pretty much all of them. Just, uh, we didn't do Meridia's quest, because it, like... I don't know, I did, I couldn't find the person that had the, the actual rig, so I did it for no reason. 
and uh, Azura's quest I didn't do. Those are the only two uh, danger quests I didn't do in this game. Temples do love some naked ladies. Yeah, they sure do. Uh, uh, where is this person that I'm trying to speak to? Is it you? It's not you. Uh, I know there are naked ladies, so... Uh, I'm looking. Yeah, okay. I think this is the guy. All right, then The other king will be most pleased He has searched many lifetimes for this lost item. I have been instructed to give you this object Use it wisely Should you ever locate the Mantella the under king would be most appreciative The unmistakable voice of Nalfaga speaks softly in your head. Also, that the Totem has found its will into the hands of someone with royal blood. I think it is time to pay me another visit here in your Shedongent, Nalfgal. Your work is not yet done. Okay, we're going to Shadungund. Oh, look, it's all stormy. It's all like the skybox is all broken or something. I don't know what the hell's going on. The world is ending. The world is ending. Oh my god. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to Shadungund. Where was this? Was it here? Shadungund? No. Where the hell was it? I could have sworn it was in the Dragon Tail. Was it in the mountains here? Yeah, Shadungan. Look how many places you could go. It's ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, this good old place. Oh, there's a thunderstorm. Oh. It was a big idea, my Eek has a thing to you, my Eek thinks you better leave that. Huh? Of course, my Eek gets assaulted once again. My Eek the liar. It's a mod. With my Eek. He's in this game now. <laughs> Alright. What's up with this? Wasn't there like a weird hag? That I had to sp- that was in this place? Yes, this is the weird hag place. Uh, here's a Necromancer amulet. Okay. The hell does it do? Uh, we have the Ebony Blade, the Ebony Mail as well. We have the Sanguine Rose. Uh... The hell does this do? This place? I searched everywhere for hours the first time here, only to look it up that I needed to press a torch. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, that's what that's what this place is all about. This door's magically locked. And I have no idea what the 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 the, the, pa the password is. A homunculus just died. Good. We don't want to do none of the damn homunculus. Damn freaking homunculuses do one shot kills like it's crazy. All right, let me do this. Of course, no rookie mistakes here. Not happening. What does this do? Necromancer's amulet. You're regenerating. Huh? You're regenerating. What the hell does that even mean? My stamina? I have no idea. You are regenerating. Nice, great, great. That sounds, that sounds great. That sounds wonderful, uh, fantastic. I have no idea what the heck is the point of that, but whatever. It looks cool though. It looks like a freaking uh, locator device. So you know what? I like it. It's fine. There's a giant iron golem. Wow. 
Oh, wow. There's a weird lady. What's going on, weird lady? You don't want to join? Fine. Whatever, bro. Heck? Oh! Wait, I think I know what it does. Oh, it regenerates your health slowly. That's actually pretty awesome. I actually like that a lot. That's pretty gnarly. That's real gnar, gnar right there. I don't even have to heal ever again. I can just sit. Just sit around. Do whatever I want. There's a bunch of loot in this box. Some drugs. Good old drugs. This portcullis is closed. It's freaking closed, bro. It's freaking closed, bro. You like press like a weird little skull on the floor, it's gonna teleport you. You get teleported. Ugh. Oh! It's a homunculus. No, I can't get him as a friend. That would be so awesome if I could get a homunculus as a pet friend. That would be overpowered. Because those freaking little weird bastards, they freaking, they do one-shot kills for real. It's like so good. It would be perfect against all the enemies. The enemies. What the hell? You! Join me! How dare you not join me! Get out of here. The heck? Uh, there was a guy in a box one time that was in this. In this box. That was awesome. Are you serious? There's nothing? Nothing at all. What the hell, bro? That's ridiculous, bro. Secret rooms, bro. Whoa. A gargoyle. A freaking gargoyle. Secret door. My goodness, I can't believe that this this game is eventually gonna come to an end. We'll be finished with this game. And that's it. It'll be the end of the story of Knife Guy for now. For now, of course. But there will be more stories in the future. For us to partake in. With many different other games that we shall be playing. We got some interesting ones coming coming up soon. This will be real good. It will be real good. Uh, October is also coming up too. We're going to be doing some spooky stuff. We're going to be doing some spooky stuff. So if you like uh, horror games, better stick around for that. Because we're going to be doing all that. Dem horror games. Whenever I pick up a knife, I will always remember the adventures of Knife Guy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> same, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, same. Every time I pick up a knife and I'm like, uh, last night I was like cutting up an apple. And I was like, you know what? I'm the freaking Knife Guy. Slicing up that apple. With my knife. Like a sick one. <laughs> I showed that apple what for, and then I consumed the apple in slices. Whoa, what the hell was that? I'ma heal just in case. There's some weird like poison gas. You know, with all the people right now on uh, the old social medias and all these platforms and stuff, they're busy talking about uh, Dr. Disrespect. I, I, I bet y'all have been hearing about the news about Dr. Disrespect. And the allegations of him uh, sexually interacting with a minor or whatever on a whisper on Twitch or whatever the heck all that's all about. But uh, honestly, who freaking cares? Yeah, he lost everything? Question mark. I don't think he did, honestly. I, don't, I think, honestly, this is my perspective. I feel like... 
because he's had some shady stuff in the past. Like the dude, the, the dude literally had like shady stuff in the past. I think he cheated on his like wife or something. The dude has kids too, so I don't know. Like you know, like I, I don't know, like what's really going on with all that. But he's either he either actually did sexually interact with a minor through a chat. I don't think he met them. I doubt that he probably met them. I hope not. But uh, he either did do that and he's like just playing some kind of game or whatever. Like he's now like he's like he's like he, I don't know. He's like made it a joke and he's riding along with it is kind of what I'm thinking. I thought it was a plan to meet. Yeah, that's what it, that's where I've heard like he apparently planned to meet with a minor that he was chatting up on whisper or whatever the heck that is i never even heard of the freaking uh, the whisper They're like some kind of like chat service or something that's like private <sighs> private yeah of course of course all these chat services are private you think a fed can just like go and like look at your discord history <laughs> like of course it's like ridiculous but like, yeah, that happened and like, he like announced that he's coming back from his vacation and he went to like his like Dr. Disrespect Island, like Jeffrey Epstein style. Like he made like a joke about it like that. And like, I don't know, like either people are supporting this guy and he's legitimately a pedophile and they're giving him money. So they're supporting a pedophile, <sighs> which is like ridiculous to me when I really think about it. I mean, like, damn, that's like, that's, that's uh, stupid as hell that people would still give him money after such a, a hardcore situation as he was in. Or it was completely pinned on him and uh, uh, he was framed, I guess. They were, they're trying to shut him down, maybe. Trump. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> yeah. So who knows? Who knows? I wouldn't know. Isn't that, like, I have no idea. I haven't looked into it at all. But honestly, who cares? You know what's even more important but, uh, than all that Dr. Disrespect nonsense? Check this out. You ready for this one? That's right. We got an Apple review. Yippee! So this person posted on Twitter. Just found this site where a guy reviews apples and holy shia! I did not realize the apple fandom was so toxic. So this person was raiding apples. So we got we got we got this here. Wait, wait. I can show this actually. <laughs> Give me a sec. I could I could show this. I will show this. It's pretty funny. Who cares about the Dr. Disrespect news? Check this out. You ready for this? <sighs> We're gonna... Uh, can I... Can I do this? Sure, I'll just do it like that because I'm lazy. <laughs> Anyways. Here we are. Look, check this out. The Pure Shia Apples. So we got... We got ourselves here these apples we got the zester apples and uh they're known as the failed magician rating 53 not worth eating the Cortland apples a damp hacky sack rated 52 not worth eating autumn glory apples the glory hole of apples 51 not worth eating <laughs> Sweetie apples, a watery grave, 51, not worth eating. Cameo apples, 50. An unwelcome guest, not worth eating. Penova, pinata apples, a papier mache fruit husk, <laughs> rated 50, not worth eating. The McIntosh apples. A seal skinned Canadian letdown <laughs> rated 45 horse food. Literal horse food. 
Modi apples, the Italian disgrace. Rated 44 horse food. <laughs> Look at the rating on this. This is like the best rating that has been given to an apple by this person. Ruby Frost Apple Review. Thick skin New York fuck boy. You want to talk about a handsome apple? This New York bread sex fruit will ride you like the A train from here to Poughkeepsie. Only problem is, like most hot New Yorkers, this puppy has a skin so thick getting through to this fuck boy is like trying to cross the GW bridge at rush hour. But hey, if you're able to choke down the seatbelt strap material that it calls skin, you'll be rewarded with a great snap and mildly sweet taste that's juicier than a pigeon's ass over here. Too bad that's impossible. <laughs> LMAO, these reviews, 100 out of 100 worth reading. They are, look. The taste factor, crispiness, crispness. The skin is absolutely zero. Flesh, flesh, juiciness, density, beauty, branding, consistency, cost, availability, mediocre. And then we have this. The Newtown Pippin Apple Review, 19. Vomitous filth. <laughs> oh my god. The Long Island sand-filled condom. R ranked number three cider apple. This sand-filled condom from Long Island was choked down in the 1750s by the likes of Thomas Jefferson at Monticello, George Washington at Mount Vernon, and Benjamin Franklin as he declared it his favorite fruit. Perhaps the Newtown Pippin was once a great apple whose quality has degraded over the centuries like the crumbling democracy the Founding Fathers established. Or perhaps, after decades of eating pigeon pie and squirrel meat, these wooden teeth slave owners' taste buds are not to be trusted. Either way, in today's world, aside from being excellent for apple cider production, the Newtown Pippin is a tasteless hunk of malformed donkey shia that should have been abolished during the reign of King George III. <laughs> Holy crap. That's insane. I actually like this apple. I actually enjoy this apple, to be honest. The Fuji Apple Review. Rated 56, barely worth it. The Japanese Pop Star. Yet another demon spawn of the Red Delicious, crossed with a Rawls Janet. This gravelly choking hazard named after Fujisaki City, Japan, is a J-pop star of an apple fit with a ravenous fan base that many Americans will find difficult to understand. Personally, it is beyond comprehension how this super hard medieval weapon masquerading <laughs> as a fruit could become the most popular apple in Japan. And at and a top five apple worldwide, aside from a semi-sweet initial bite, this mushy, rough-skinned experiment gone awry is a baffling oddity with a sword-like stem so sharp it will quite literally stab other apples interested. <laughs> Despite this, the Fuji fandom is real, uncompromising, and dedicated. A Fuji is not for everyone, but if it's for you, it just may be your favorite apple. It honestly is not that bad of an apple. I enjoy it personally. We're coming from me, the fool. Update 2023. 
still truly baffled how many feel this is their favorite apple. However, I have not bad or had the chance to try a Fuji straight from Japan, where I hear they may be better. That being said, I have had better Fujis in my retesting. Plus three taste, minus one juiciness, plus two cost availability. Total score, 48 to 56. Horse food, barely worth it, horse food. <laughs> Oh my god. That's like so good. I thought that was like so funny when I read that at first. I was like, holy crap. There's actual like for real Apple reviewers out there. And they're like... <laughs> they're so freaking brutal. They're like so freaking brutal about that. But yeah, I had to share that. That's, uh, that's definitely of great importance. The uh, Apple reviews. Just to keep you all informed on them apples. <laughs> the super strict in the best way, that is for sure. Holy moly! <laughs> Back into the action. Back into the action. No more fooling around with them apples. <laughs> Imagine it in Trump's voice. You see? You see? This apple right here is an absolute major catastrophe. I'm telling you right now, this apple right here is an absolute major catastrophe. I would not make this a president of the United States of America, I tell you. It's absolutely terrible. Absolutely. It tastes like dung. It tastes like absolute dung. You understand? <laughs> Horse food. This is what I call... In American language, horse food. Absolutely tragic horse food. <laughs> you, you dropped to the ground completely exhausted, you're dead. 